Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be telling you some stuff that you may or may not know that exists in that city. Some of these stuff that you might be familiar with, good for you. But if you don't, then this video is right for you. Alright, let's get started. Did you know at one occasion, or a really random occasion, the carnival would actually play music. It would sound something like this. This would randomly play across the carnival through these speakers, which is kind of a fun detail to see in this game. Tracks on, on, on the roller coaster actually act like a conveyor belt. Here's, what it, here's how it works. You stand on it, and all of a sudden you start moving. You know, I'm not even using WPSD at all. It's literally moving on its own. Isn't it fascinating? Well, it's kind of useless, but I mean, I guess it's a kind of cool addition, but I don't think anybody cares. And yeah, at one point, I would just stop for some reason. But at one point, it would continue on for some reason. And you go all the way down, literally. I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing any, like I said, I'm not doing anything. The location nearby the carnival is most likely a fishing area. As you can see, there are three rods that are oversized. And I don't know what they're fishing, but it looks like they're fishing something beneath the surface. Whatever, but these can be climbable if, in case if you fall, you can climb back up. But just saying that these are kind of hard to climb back up. Especially when they just like slide you back. But usually they would actually work. Just like this one. With bouncing, something like that. But these things, like I said, are fishing rods that are oversized, and I don't know what they're fishing. But this place is definitely a fishing area, or whatever they call it. And that's a pretty nice detail they added on the end of the dock, or the boardwalk specifically. I mean, there's nothing else to watch here, so what's the point of being here, anyways? What's funny about this volcano is that it is emitting um, orange or reddish particles despite the lava being blue. It doesn't really make any sense. And another thing that doesn't make any sense is how a volcano has formed a ramp here, if you guys didn't know. But I'm pretty sure 0% of the players that play this game don't, either, don't even care about this place anyways. I mean, I might, I might be wrong if you're like one of those people that love exploring. Other than that, this place is considered... I don't know. Some... I guess... This ramp... And whatever this BS is... What else am I supposed to say? I think I lost my lines. Another thing that you may not know is that... In the desert... This... This is the only water source that does not damage your vehicles no matter what. Every other water source, including the rivers, will literally damage your vehicle. For some reason that doesn't because it does not reach the hitbox. Or maybe it isn't water after all. Did you know there are actually sandstorms in Mad City? Some of you guys may not notice, but there are actually sandstorms in Mad City, which are technically just particles. I mean, how else would you make a sandstorm? Besides particles, you know. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.